Hey everybody, it's Josiah Griggs and welcome to the Thursday Amped Up Show. Wow, did you guys feel that? Yes, I did. Roll the intro. What I was trying to say is we got to go into announcements, but I didn't want to say it. The last day to sign up for Trek is today. If you want to be part of the, one of the best Trek teams in the state, sign up for 8 to 18. Practice starts 3.30. There is a mandatory DECA meeting today after school in E1. French students, the deadline to pay for the French contest is tomorrow. So register at the campus store. Here's a quick look at what's happening around HF. Tonight's open water polo is canceled. We will resume at the usual times next week. The ETA 2019 haiku contest deadline is tomorrow at midnight. Send entries to submit to ETA at gmail.com. Intermediate or advanced dance auditions are Tuesday, January 29th, starting at 315. Please prepare a 30 second dance of your choice and be ready to demonstrate some dance skills. Come make vision boards for 2019 in Wellness Wednesday. Sign up in the guidance office today. Next week's group topic, vision boards and manifesting your goals. Turnabout tickets are now on sale in the campus store. They are $30 each and can be purchased with your student ID. Viking speakers, actors, and poets, we are announcing the Poetry Out Loud National Recitation Contest. This program encourages students to learn about poetry through memorization, performance, and competition. You will find the materials you need on the Poetry Out Loud website. Stay tuned for more information or see Ms. Stromer. Congrats to the Science Olympiad team for a successful turnout at the SWSC conference last weekend. Students were ready to compete despite the inclement weather conditions, and this is what's placed for the Vikings. First place, track me if you can. First place, mysterious pedigree. Second place, balloon hovercraft. Third place, king of the hill. And third place, mysterious pedigrees. Congratulations to the HF Mathletes on winning the SWSC Red Division Conference Championship last Wednesday night. The team took first place in 10 out of the 15 events, and all 28 competitors took home at least one first place finish. The team was led by the freshman class, who swept first place in all available events, as well as sophomores Savannah Holly and junior Miles Motiba, who took first place in all three of their events, including both winning first place medals for their oral presentation competitions. There's a baseball informational meeting on Tuesday, February 19th at 3.30 p.m. in the TLC. This meeting will be for all levels of baseball and include important details about making the HF baseball team. Email Coach McCarthy for details at jmccarthy at hf233.org. The girls gymnastics team competed in the SWSC conference meet last night. Both the JV and varsity teams placed third in the conference. Kayla Fulgham placed fourth in the all-around for JV and Alyssa Brigham placed fifth in the all-around for varsity. Great job, girls. The varsity team will be competing in the regional meet next week at Lincoln Way East. That brings you up to date on what's happening at HF. I'm Nora Ryan. Being a disappointment is hard on you, your friends, family, country. That reminds me of somebody. Oh, check out the new scoop on the government shutdown. The current government shutdown is the longest the government has shut down in history, currently at 33 days. The reason for the shutdown is because of a dispute between President Trump and the Democrats, who do not want to provide funding to build the wall that Trump has proposed. Neither side seems to be willing to give in, causing this long shutdown. Um, I think it's dumb what's happening. Donald Trump uh, really has no right to do this. He's holding every uh, government worker hostage in order to get this ridiculous border wall, which really won't work because it's like 50% of illegal immigrants travel f via plane anyways. So you're really just spending a ton of money to do nothing. Um, and it's just kind of pointless and uh, it's dumb that he's holding the country hostage and uh, it's, he's throwing a fit and uh, like a child who can't get his uh, way, he's just refusing to do anything and uh, I think it's unfair to the workers that have to go without paychecks because Donald Trump wants this dumb wall. The government shut down, I mean it's pretty obvious there was a fully agreed upon 100 to 0 pass in the Senate budget and then the Democrats took over the House and then Trump rejected that budget and now decided that he needed funding for his border wall uh, for no reason other than he wants a power play so that he can seem strong and also divert attention from other negative news stories about him. It's desperate. 
How would I try and remedy the budget? I mean, they just have to pass a budget. They had a perfectly agreed upon budget before Trump started demanding money for his wall. And what you also have to understand is that it's not a simple $5 billion and the wall is done. This is starting preparations for the wall, meaning that he will ask for more money later. Costs are projected way higher than the $5 billion that he's giving now. There's really no end to this. So the answer is just stop him in his tracks. I don't disagree with Pelosi and Schumer's decision to like not yield to the claims because there's no verifiable stopping point and we need to establish that there are grounds to this and Trump can't hold the ho can't hold the entire nation hostage for his own dumb goals. While some essential work such as mail delivery and law enforcement is still being performed, the shutdown has affected operations at nine departments, including Homeland Security, Justice State and Treasury, and several agencies, including the Environmental Protection Agency and NASA. Much work has ground to halt. About 800,000 government workers are living without pay, with more than half working and most likely being repaid once the government reopens and the rest sent home with no ex expectation. For VTV, I'm Wyatt Shipman. We all know that the hardest sport is Chess. No, literally, chess. Roll the segment. Um, my personal goal is to get top 10 at state and be all state. And as a team, I, our goal is to go six and one at state and also get top 15. So my goal for this year is like what we did last year is to win our section. We went undefeated at sectionals last year and I would like to repeat the process and then just go as far as we can in state. Uh, I guess hanging out with everybody, like every Tuesday and Thursday, we go into Mr. Bonds' room and it's pretty fun, especially having Mr. Bonds. He's a great teacher and an even better coach. We win. <laughs> That's the shortest way of it. We play with each other, we win with each other, we lose with each other. It's just we come together for everything. Challenging. Intuitive. Confident. Futuristic. Tiring. Because it's like you sit at the table for like two hours. It's pretty stressful for your mind. It gets pretty exhausting. It takes a lot of hard work and dedication to be a part of the HF track team. Run the segment. Do you like running or jumping? Then why haven't you joined our boys or girls track and field team? It's a great way to cross train for other sports and keeps you conditioned. Need some more persuading? Both teams were runner-ups at the state competition last season. And in 2017, the boys won it all. Still having trouble? Hear from some of the members of both teams. Boys and girls should come out for track because it's a good team sport, and it's not it's not like opinion based. Like in some sports, like some some coach may like you better or not. It's literally based off time. If you run the time, then you're in. Like it's, it's good for that. And if you're in other sports like basketball, like football, any sports, it just helps you get faster and the real techniques and you know, just quickness that you need for your sports, you can get it in track. Um, people should join track because it keeps you in shape and you, the teammates are really fun and nice. Um, we're all a big family there so uh, we'll show you how to do like new things, feel loved and all. It's a great sport all around. Come out, um, the season just started, this is the first week. I'm the throws coach. We're definitely looking for jumpers, hurdlers, sprinters, um, especially vaulters. If there are any gymnasts that want to come out, that would be an event that we could really get some points in for both boys and girls. We came second in state, but this year we're climbing first on top, period! Period! Both teams are a week in and there's still time to join. Make sure you're signed up on 8 to 18, then at 315 report to the North Field House, warmed up and ready to go. For VTV, I'm Tanaya Anderson. Auditions for the four-week talent search series, The It Factor, is held here in the VBC tomorrow from four to six. It's a chance for our school's talent to show us what they can do in front of the camera. One of the executive producers of the series, Joe Alexander, is excited about how the series may turn out. So 
I am super excited for this upcoming series called The It Factor. I believe that we have uh, a lot of HF artists and a lot of HF musicians that are here at and go to this school. You know, he, he or she might be sitting right next to you right now. So I'm excited to see what all HF has to offer and I'm looking forward to finding the next HF big thing. It should be a great show and a great contest. So singers, rappers, musicians of all kinds, don't forget to go on our website on www.vikingtelevision.com and apply for our It Factor application. Bring in a one minute piece. For VTV, I'm Jalen Edwards. This donut is pretty good. I bet you wish you had one. Mmm, <laughs> I'm real sorry, Greg. Goodbye, Chef. Oh, sorry. Wait, shut up. First we have the, wait, what did I say? But I was trying to work and dedication to be part of the, it, it takes a lot of hard work and dedication. Now we all know Johnny always picks some of the worst singers at HF to host his VTV shows. But this week he decided to switch it up and pick the best singer at HF, me. <laughs> Just kidding, I suck. Happy birthday.